have launched your portal structure software. In the portal structure software have finished loading, this dialog box will appear. So to begin your structural design using portal structure, what you have to do when this dialog box appears, you have to click on a new project. So when you click on a new project here, you will have to specify the project code, which simply means the project name. So what I'm doing right now, you can use the client name or the, you, you can use the client name and the kind of building that you're doing to name the project. So what we are doing, what we have here is a, it's a five bedroom duplex. So I'll just say, I'll just say five. Bedroom, five bedroom, sorry, five bedroom duplex. And I'll quickly put the client's name, Mr. Tega. Then I'll click OK. Wait for it to appear. Now, once it appears, it will, it will be using BS8110, UK BS8110 for this structural design. So we'll be using British code. So I'll, I'll quickly choose UK BS8110 and click on import. So once we click on import, immediately it imports all the design parameters, all the design um, elements that we that will use, design formulas. That we will use to perform this structural design. So I'll click on import. So I'll wait. So right now it's trying to import everything, and this is what this is the DSL file that we are going to import into Porter Structure. So we just wait for it to come up. Okay, it's coming up. It's coming up. Okay, I'll quickly maximize this and then. I'll click on save. I'll say cancel. Now we we want to import our GA drawing. GA simply means general arrangement drawing. So what we call this year is a structural general arrangement drawing. Because once you arrange your columns and your axis on a on a building plan which you want to perform the structural design. That, that's, that scenario is called general arrangement drawing. So we have arranged our column positions on our grid about to perform our structural design using Prota structure. And we have, from our previous um, lesson we just took, we have saved this as a DSL format, which this as a DSL format, which um, portal structure accepts. So I'll quickly go and uh, to to import from AutoCAD into port into portal structure from AutoCAD. We we'll click on external reference drawing, which is this icon here. You can also get that icon from file. You go to model file imports and external reference drawing. You click this. Then we wait for the dialog box to appear. A dialog box will appear, which will prompt us to choose or to load the dsl file so we just wait hold on for it to come up okay so then we will load we will click on load dsf we click on load dsf then we'll be asked to choose the file so we will quickly go to where we saved our general event drawing which is on the desktop and so we'll click on the desktop go to desktop and then locate where we saved our file. You can see it here, uh, structure plan. So we will go and click and say open. And then we are we allow now the the importing process is taking place. So we allow it to import properly. Yes, we we will be using millimeter for our measurements. So I'll quickly say okay. And then I will set to use the color of the plan, which I, and then I will now import, we will now click on import members. You can see our plan is here. 
we now have to import members. This is where you have to import your, your axis and your columns. So we will now click on import members and import axis as grid line, import column as grid line. This, I hope you remember that we set at this place, we set two layers, grid and column, which column signifies our column and grid takes our axis. So in this place now, Quota is asking you, what are you importing as axis? We say import axis as grid line and import column as column layer. So now click on OK. Then we wait for the axis to load. We are waiting now for the quota structure to identify our grid line as axis and, as our, and our, our column layer as column. So let's just wait. Okay, we will just, this is just a bidding check. We say starts. It's trying to check the, the imported file if there is any error, like in clashing of axis or clashing of two columns together or overlapping axis. So it's trying to check. So the check is done. Zero error, number of error zero. So we have no clashing axis or, or column. So we just say close. Okay, then we say close. Now, we have our axis imported and we have our columns imported also. So now that if you can see right now, we have our column imported and we have the shape of our plan, of our bidding plan imported, which is right here in AutoCAD. You can see also the shape, the staircase area and the veranda the ante room, the living room. We, if you come back to quota structure, we have the same thing, the staircase area, the veranda. This is the area of the ante room. The text um, didn't come with the, with, the, with the imported file, but we have our axis and we have our columns. So with this now, you cannot begin to trace and do your structural design. So this is how we import our our floor plans from AutoCAD down to quota structure for a structural design. Thank you.